friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. This is a white cat racked with hard nucleus. I didn't know how hard is the nucleus. So, initially I didn't know whether I will be able to do FACO in this case or not. So, first I do the side port, use tripan blue dye to stain the anterior capsule. I always use an air bubble and beneath this air bubble the tripan blue dye is injected and the dye settles on the anterior capsule immediately and the uh, staining is very quick. Little bit of adrenaline is applied so that uh, the dilatation of the pupil is maintained. I wash the dye out, remove the excess dye always immediately and then fill up the anterior chamber with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I usually do rexis with the uh, uterata forceps in this case I am trying this with a needle. I have done, I have used needle for a long time before resorting to uterata forceps. So, I know how to do a rexis with it with a cystitum. So, my plan is to do the rexis, wash some cortical lens matter and see how hard is the nucleus. So, capsular rexis done, it's a large rexis, good for both FACO and SICS. And now I inject visco again and I wash the, uh, you know, wash out the capsule. and then some superficial lens matter, some cortical lens matter and I try to judge the hardness of the nucleus. It's a brown nucleus and then my intuition says that I have done such hard cataracts many times before. So, this um, FACO can be attempted in this case. The patient is one eyed. Uh, so, I was little apprehensive of doing FACO. And now, I do the main incision, enlarge the main incision a little bit and then do a side port and then I am ready to go into the anterior chamber with the FACO needle. I am using Oatly Catrix 3 FACO machine. Uh, before introducing the FACO needle, I rotate the nucleus with two hooks. This is bimanual rotation of the nucleus and it is genual friendly maneuver. And now I uh, use the FACO needle to sculpt the very superficial epinuclear layer. And now I try my technique, the submarine chop technique. Here the FACO tip goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. As it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper is used to get a crack. In this case, I find that I am not getting the crack easily. So, it is a very leathery kind of nucleus. Ultimately, Ultimately, I got a crack, I rotated 180 degree, sculpt the central part, no, not I hold one hemineucleus and then I find that there is, you know, I cannot separate the two hemineuclei. So, I hold it at the center and try to separate the two hemineuclei and I failed. So, in this case, I did not get two free heminuclei, but this fragment appears to be free, the fragment just I got now. Then I get another crack on this heminucleus. So, the heminucleus which is not completely separate from the other heminucleus has been divided into three uh, not free fragments. The fragments are still joined to each other by some leathery fibers and this kind of cataract is really 
you know, tough to manage. You have to have patience. You have to, you know, you have to give time. Do surgery slow. Use visco again and again to protect the corneal endothelium. Particularly when the patient is on eye, you have more apprehension in your heart. And now what I do is I lift the heminucleus and get on free nucleus and then the other one. And now I have got three free nuclear fragments and again I use visco to fill up the SE and then go into the anterior chamber. This surgery took a long time. I spent 17 minutes to complete the surgery. The surgery has been edited to 12 minutes. Uh, the ultrasonic energy used is about 90 percent in continuous mode. Flow rate is 480 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is 80, 48 ml per minute. Vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury. Though the ultrasound is in continuous mode, I am using it very judiciously, using it intermittently. See a lot of leathery fibers and I am not getting the free pieces. I come to the other hemineucleus and separate it separate the two fragments with the hook and then emulsify these two pieces. Always very slow, always emulsifying at the central, remaining the, keeping the tip of the fecal needle at the central part of the anterior chamber at the iris plane. If we do surgery with caution, if we do surgery taking care of the surroundings slowly and taking care of all the movements, the results are good and we, we can complete a tough case. Actually, we are dividing the tough case into small easy parts. That is why we have to spend time. Each part gets quality time and when we give a chunk of time in this way, we come out safe. We do a safe surgery. So here I am trying to keep the epinuclear shell intact and emulsifying only the brown nuclear part. And when this is done, I use the coaxial illumination where I can see the, when I, where I get more depth perception. With coaxial illumination, the depth perception increases to some extent and we can see where we are clearly and it is good that during emulsification of the last piece, we use this coaxial illumination if the microscope has the option of coaxial, studio coaxial illumination. There is very little or no cortex remaining. So where I inject the lens, this is a, a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Usually these patients are poor, one-eyed patient having such mature cataract, remaining blind in the family for a long time. This is because of poverty. This patient could afford only 6,000 rupees, but whether the patient pays little or more, even if the patient cannot pay anything, we have to take same care for every step of surgery uh, and that is compassion. 
that is the heart of a doctor. You give your 100 percent for every patient. Your job, your surgical steps, your movements, your maneuvers, you give it 100 percent. Whether the patient pays on lakh rupees or on thousand rupees or no rupees. So, uh, we are towards the end of this surgery. This is the lavage, you know, remo uh, removing the cortex and visco both. Some little cortex was there here and there and some little fibers were there here and there and that has been removed. And then I use the coaxial, uh, the bimanual irrigation aspiration, use the irrigation and aspiration together and this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And then we hydrate the corneal stroma and close the side ports. So from this surgery what I want to tell you is that we have to have patience, patience and more patience when the surgery is tough and we have to divide the surgery into a small easy steps. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will make you calm and composed in a difficult situation.